So knowing that no man, no God, no demon, not even a male animal could hurt him, Mahishasur was unstoppable. And not only was he stronger than any other being in all of creation, but he also had an army of equally strong demon commanders. Very soon, Mahishasur had conquered the whole earth. And once all the kings of the earth were his slaves, the buffalo demon then turned his attention to conquering the heavens. If it was his destiny to rule the city of the gods, well then, it was time to fulfill that part of his destiny now. Mahishasur sent a message to Indra, the god of the thunderbolt. Indra was sat on the throne of the heavens. The message said, I have already conquered the earth. I am now coming to take over the heavens. Accept me as your king or else get ready to be humiliated on the battlefield. As you can imagine, Indra was furious when he received this message. He said to the messenger, he said, it is against the rules to kill the messenger, so I won't harm you, but get out of here quickly before I change my mind. And tell that son of a buffalo, let him do his worst. I will personally kill him on the battlefield, and then I will use his horns to make myself a bow. When Mahishasur heard Indra's message, his eyes turned red with anger and he bellowed. Bellowed so loud that it almost dislodged the earth from her orbit. He called his generals around him and he said, gather your armies and come with me. And I want you to come with me, not because I need your help. As you know, I have the great grift of Brahma himself. No man or God has the power to defeat me. I could smash all of those so-called gods just by myself, just with my hooves and my horns. But we must show them how great is the race of the demons. We will go there majestically in all our numbers. Let there be awe and fear forever in the minds of everyone who sees us. Bring together your armies and prepare for battle. Meanwhile, back in the heavens, Indra was starting to get rather nervous. He already knew that the demon, the buffalo demon was a master of illusion. He knew he was a shapeshifter and he knew he could not be defeated by any man or any god. But when his spies told him about the size of Mahishasur's army, Indra began to seriously panic. And in his panic, he called for the great and wise Brihaspati. Brihaspati was the guru to the gods. He was the advisor to the gods. And when Brihaspati arrived, Indra threw himself at the guru's feet and he said, help me. Mahishasur is undefeatable. What are we going to do? The wise Brihaspati said to Indra, he said, you know, time turns on a wheel. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Each state is temporary. Each state will pass. Victory will at some point turn to defeat and defeat will eventually turn to victory. That you cannot control. The only thing you can control is your mind. Getting worked up and panicking is not going to help you. Do what you must do, but the best, the best thing to learn is to accept good times and bad times with the same level of calmness. Because if you are calm and patient, then when the bad times come, they will not seem so bad. It was very good advice, but unfortunately, Indra was not prepared to listen. He said to the guru, he said, you can't win battles by being calm. Calmness and patience is for teachers and hermits like yourself. For kings and warriors, it is about power. I will kill the demon in battle, I will. All I want from you is to chant your prayers and remove the obstacles from my path. Make sure that victory will be mine. And the Guru Brihaspati smiled and said, I can see you are determined to go into battle. I will not argue with you. But as for making sure that you win, I'm afraid I cannot control the future. Whether you win or lose is your destiny. I cannot change what will happen. But trust me, you will always have my blessing. Go, make your plans and do your best. <laughs> 